What's going on, y'all? What's poppin'? I'm gonna try. I was trying some different shit today, and I wanted to give y'all something to look at while I talk and shit today. And you know, today, I don't know. Lately, just been feeling different. Like on a on this fucking nerf up journey, it's been pretty hard to keep the balance. And what I mean balance is just just keep the street going. Just uh. You know, it's so much temptation. I mean, you got a whole lot of shit. Everything, a lot of shit is pouring out. Like, all the social medias, all these girls on here twerking. And, you know, they, 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 they want, like, this is making a lot of men weaker. You know, it's making a lot of men weaker. This is why a lot of guys is so addicted to pixels on the screen. It's so crazy to, a lot of guys want, want, I said porn. Yeah, yeah, they want porn and all these pictures on the screen rather than a real person to, or to really just go and approach a female and all this shit, and then you see OnlyFans rising. It's I feel like it's gonna continue to rise. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't really think this shit is gonna really slow down until a lot of guys just really understand what what this porn and OnlyFans is really doing to their brain. This I feel like it's it's one of the most damaging things that can that you can do to your brain is just watch porn constantly, constantly, constantly. I I feel like a couple times just to see how sex goes is cool, but I mean, when you get an addiction started, and, when, and I think the average addiction for this shit starts at like, uh, what is it, 9 or 10 now, and I remember when I was fucking watching that shit, when I first started, it was like, this shit started around, I was about, I think I seen something like that, like at 8, and I was like, what the fuck, I was disgusted, then, but at the same time, I was still, I still wanted to know what the fuck it was, but it was just like, I don't know, I wouldn't. I don't know, it's like I knew, I, and then it was like I knew I wasn't supposed to be watching this shit, and, you know, since I turned it off, but I did want to know about it, but I didn't ask my parents about it, because I knew, I'm like, bro, this shit ain't, I'm not supposed to be, it's like I had that deep feeling, like I wasn't supposed to be doing that shit, and, you know, so, and a lot of shit, they gonna, they gonna keep promoting all these girls and shit on Instagram or whatever, and YouTube, and, and you gotta think about it, a lot of shit, like Sneeko just recently got taken down for cyberbullying. They 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 take they they taking shit down when you speak against COVID and shit. But they not taking shit down when when girls on on YouTube twerking on a. I mean, and this shit's be on World Star. Some of that shit be trending. Like they in their damn near uh ass naked and shit. You know what I'm saying? They damn near in their ass naked and they shit is not getting age restricted or anything because they want the the youth to see that the youth shouldn't have to see that. I mean, and then. Uh, a lot of a lot of young guys, bro. They they got a they got a lot of testosterone. I know when I was young, when I was young, I'm 19 now. But when I was younger, I would say about 12 and shit. I had a lot of testosterone. Like, bro, I, I wanted to have sex at an early age. I think that's what kind of screwed me up. And I really feel like jacking off and watching porn at a at the earliest age. Or what was I like 10, 11? That shit was just. I feel like that really just kind of fucked my brain up in terms of sex and everything and how a uh, girl want pleasure. And they promote all this. I already told you guys that they promote a lot of violence and porn. They Girls getting choked and shit. And I was just watching one of these girls that I used to see in porn and shit. And she did a podcast. She had a podcast. And she was just like, uh, she slick was crying because she was like, like, uh, she remember getting choked, or she remember one or somebody she knew getting choked her in the videos, and they didn't like it, and they, she was just talking about on and on, and about the, how the agents really try to promote you, uh, not to promote you, but, like, try to get you to do shit that you don't want to do, like, you'll sign off on certain shit that you will, that you will, uh, want to do, and that you're willing to do, it and shit that you won't do in the, in the porn, pornographic film, and, you know, they are just, they'll find ways to, for the shit you said you didn't want to do, they will find ways to, for you to, uh, fucking do that shit and pressure you into doing it. So I mean, and I, I feel like, and then a lot of girls, they felt, they said they felt like they couldn't say no. They said they, like, and I know this, this particular porn star, she felt like she said, uh, she couldn't say no to the, what the agent was telling her and shit. And she was like, she was just, but let me clarify this. She said she wasn't raped, but she just felt like she couldn't say no and. I don't know, maybe, maybe she signed a fucking contract that said she gotta do this, or they was gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and all type of blackballing type shit going on, so, y'all really gotta steer clear from the fucking distractions, that's why I'm on and off social media, y'all see me posting, I haven't posted in about a month, um, you know, 
about a month or so or a couple weeks it's, it's, it's felt like two or three months but i just been going through the motions kind of i'm still i'm not perfect y'all and, and you know I, I like making these no fat videos because for one it helps y'all and and then when i just talk about it to y'all and shit like that it helps me get back on my shit so you know i ain't been doing shit but chilling but um you know what i'm saying i got october coming you got when when you when you speak against like let me let me say this again when you speak against the you know the shit that's going on in the world right now the the shot when you speak against that when you start to speak against that they take it down. They say it's misinformation. I won't say too much because they they taking videos down. They took one of my videos down. They gave me a strike on my channel, and I was just speaking my mind. And I'm gonna just stick to this no fab shit. Um, and if I do ever talk about the, the the shot, you know, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta, gotta, gotta find certain words, and I gotta be careful my words because they will and they, they started to take some of my videos down so i guess they watching my videos but they haven't took none of the no fat videos down but um like in, i'm gonna say like sneagle said if it's if, if they censor it it's true so but they don't they don't they don't censor my no fat videos but I, I feel like that's true anyway you know and they don't really care about that. They care about the more bigger, like, people, when people start talking about the shot and speaking against it and shit, I mean, like, like Sneeko said, um, these platforms so we just gotta abide by these rules and a lot of a lot of people they post shit on these social media platforms and shit um or just just platforms in general they trying to make money everybody's trying to make a living feed their families and shit and you know and speak their opinion but certain you got to be careful with certain opinions which it doesn't make sense how they just take certain opinions down it's not like you're promoting violence you just don't you don't believe it like they can't I don't know. I don't get that. But back to what I was saying, bro. A lot of these, a lot of these girls that y'all seeing, y'all really gotta stop watching porn, bro, y'all. And I'm, I'm gonna speak on Sneeko a little bit. He got banned, like he got banned for some shit. He said they, they took him down. I think his final strike was taken down for cyber, cyber bullying or some shit like that. And I like a lot of the stuff he talks about. He told you guys, I posted a clip of his shit on my channel. He told you guys to stop watching porn. Uh, which is a great thing. I come in. I got way. I got much respect for Sneeko. I had much respect before that because I can see the passion. I can hear the passion in his voice when he talks about men and you know he wants men to do better. He sees that men are getting weaker. I've said I've said this in one of my videos. I know probably said this multiple times, but I said men are weaker for the sole fact that uh, we're just watching porn, bro. Everything is so digitalized. We're not approaching. We're not really going out and go get it. We're way, I feel like we're way more emotional now, emotional than ever. Uh, women are becoming more masculine. You know, it's like it's like a gender flip. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of these, a lot of these girls, a lot of these girls are getting brainwashed. I don't know about social media and all this shit. They just they all twerking, they they all twerking and all this shit on the Instagram. And like he said, you know, Sneeko said Cardi B and all this. I feel like all that plays a part in how they think and. You know, um, they and then they feel like they don't need a guy. They want to, or they they want a guy. A lot of these girls say they want to. I watched the Fresh and Fit podcast and shit. They was like, they want a guy with six figures. Um, he got to be this tall. He got to be this, that, this. When meanwhile, on the other way around, a, a guy just wants a shit, a hot, hot chick. You know what I'm saying? He don't really give a fuck about our money and shit. But he still, I feel like. I know for me, I don't want my girl to be lazy or whatever, but she ain't got to just make the most money in the world. It's really not about money, it's, and and it's really not about woman, uh, money when it come to when it's the other way around. But I can see why a lot of girls, um, they want a guy with six, they want a lot of guy with six figures and shit. But I can see kind of why, but well, I wouldn't say six figures, but you want a guy with money, you want a guy, and if they don't have six figures, you shouldn't. I feel like a lot of girls don't. Don't belittle them for having just because you make a little bit more money, then you shouldn't belittle you shouldn't belittle your man or the dude that's trying to go for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they would throw that in your face if the not like I feel like nine times out of ten when the girls make more money than a when the than the guy, like she would just I don't know she'll be saying shit. She just feel like she pay for everything. Like he gonna be she gonna be telling him what to do and all this shit because he she probably paying most of the bills. And, you know, 
just what it is. And I, I'm, I'm going to say this. A lot of these girls today, my generation, I'm 19. A lot of these girls in my generation, they don't really want a good guy. I'm going to just say that. They don't really want a good guy. They want the fucking bad guy. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I haven't had a lot of girlfriends in my spare time. And I ain't had, honestly, in high school, I ain't had no girlfriends. I had girlfriends out through middle school, like 7th to 8th grade. But I feel like those don't really, those kind of count. But, nah, not really. But I, I don't know. I don't think I would never get married. You know what I'm saying? I won't, like... Like, I, I make these videos all the time when I talk about porn and all this shit. Bro, I just want y'all to just get the fuck off of that shit. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing the damage been done. I'm seeing the truth. Like, I'm seeing a lot I'm seeing a lot of men and you guys comment on a lot of my videos. Y'all saying, uh, we, ju we just getting weaker as a whole. I was getting weaker. Then I stopped. Then I relapsed. Then it, it happens. The relapse happens. You just got to learn from it and keep going, bro. And like I said before about, you know, Sneeko's getting banned and shit like that. I appreciate him. Kind of waking you guys up on these OnlyFans girls. And then he talked about Simon Tinder. That, that, the video got 25 milli. And one of the girls said uh, that she had the best month of her career. And you know what I'm saying? They they posting all this sexy shit. And all this shit is fucking up guys' brains. And they making them. She said she made just under a million dollars. And people just giving her money, giving her, giving her money. This should show you guys that a lot of guys are... I, I, I guarantee you, the people that who are really donating to OnlyFans and all this shit, they really have a fucking problem. I'm going to just keep it real with you. They got to have a problem. It's no way they, they penis is, like, functioning right. Because I can I can see this shit. They watching porn every day. They doing this. They, you got, and, and one thing y'all got to gotta remember, when they watching, when people, when a lot of guys are watching porn, when they just watching that shit every day, the normal shit don't do it no more. So they gotta do all type of, they gotta watch all type of crazy shit. Probably think of all type of crazy, get off to all type of crazy shit, or or doing some of these guys act the shit out, and they promote a lot of rape and uh, sexual abuse in it and that shit. So just imagine what that's doing to a kid's brain. Um, and these and these guys think that's cool when it's when a lot of these girls they don't, a lot of these girls really don't want that shit. If of might be a small percentage that wants to really get slapped the fuck. I mean, slapped the fuck out of or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I haven't come across one of those females. So, you know what I'm saying? But, y'all, freedom of speech is dead. I'm going to just continue saying I'm going to try to pass. I'm going to try to carry the torch, part of the torch with Sneeko and uh, just trying to help men better themselves and better, they, better their life financially, spiritually, mentally. Um, and, don't be just, bro, don't be wasting your time with a lot of these females. Just focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. It's okay to go talk to girls. Go out. Find you find you some girls. But don't be chasing girls. Don't be just sitting there chasing girls. I'm on back then. I was just chasing. I spent most of my time chasing girls when I could have been grinding and putting that, putting that uh, energy towards something else. Putting it more towards my schoolwork. Putting it more, just getting through school. Like, or just putting, putting it uh, more towards my, just getting better at football. I play sports. Um, just getting better at my craft, get better financially, learn something. But as a guy, as a young guy, you're so young. When you're young, when you, I would say you're like 15, 13, or like 14, 13 and up. You know what I'm saying? Your testosterone is high. You're horny as fuck. I mean, you can't really, it's it's kind of hard to think. And they don't teach you guys no fap when you're young. Like, you don't have no parents to teach you, like, about no fap and shit. And you got to just learn how to fucking go work out. You got to, like, if you're not jacking off, which I don't really encourage you guys to really just jack off like you know what i'm saying you should just find a female i feel like that's that's the that's your best bet but a lot of guys grow up jacking off and a lot of guys grow up watching porn they normalize this shit they a lot of our parents majority of our parents don't know the effects that this shit was ha that this shit is having on our brain because you got to think about it. our parents didn't grow up with this shit they had to get magazines and all type of shit they probably got porn cds and all this shit but they didn't they didn't really have that shit back then you know what i'm saying it's we, I felt like we the first generation with the high speed porn and all this shit, all this crazy shit. So don't, and basically what porn is, like I say all the time, it's programming. It's just, it's just bad programming. You know what I'm saying? You watching this, you're going to want to watch something else. You're going to want to escalate the, the shit you watching into some more aggressive or, you know what I'm saying? But, um, that's all I wanted to talk about with you guys. I'm going to go ahead, go to sleep, bro. It's about time for me to go to bed, man. And, I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me, and I'm out.